In our last episode, we were ready to brave the cold after a night at a campsite with hot showers and power. We decided to try our luck back at Knock and Craig because it was a beautiful day and we wanted to see what it was all about before moving on. There's Nelly. Get wet. Our afternoon drive had taken us all the way to Shigra Beach, which was almost at the top of Scotland. So this is a little honorary campsite that we found. Well, I found it uh, searching on Google for campsites and. Scotland they were kind of wild and this is as wild as they get. I think it's a bit of an honesty box around four pounds a night and it looks pretty interesting. Right, this is what I like to call getting stuck. <laughs> Not fun, this is fun. Now's the lass. Nelly the lassie. We think this is a, a campsite. Anyway, it's conservation land, so I think we're better right down here. Oh. Oh. This is a plow ahead. Oh no. <laughs> I did that. Why are you moving? The campsite was beautiful and wild, so we decided to have a look around before it got too dark and cold. Hey guys, the uh, the wind's picked up tenfold, so we are just gonna move. Um, so instead of being side on to the offshore wind, we're gonna be just it hitting the back of the, the van. Um, just because we really don't want Nelly to tip over. We don't think she will, but a bit of safe than sorry. And then we can always move back tomorrow. Um, yeah, Dylan's gonna do that. She goes, and I'm in charge of making sure the dinner stays in the oven. Like it's all right now. It's just before that was so strong. Well, I think we'll be fine. I think we should just. We're in a valley. Yeah. Like that. So either wind's going to come that way or that way. So if we're aiming outwards, I mean, worst case, we're just in the middle of the night. At least I know, just to drive straight. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, if I can tune around, I'll start. Pretty like hard ground for us. It's good. Probably is sand under here, actually. Whoa. I'm <laughs> sorry, like a. A 20.2 because I can't see the shift. Watch out there, it's rocks. I kind of go like this. Yeah, don't get so much much. Like that? Yeah, perfect. Cool. Yeah, so now we're facing the gate, so if we do need to go for some whatever reason um it's pretty easy 
How fun. I can't even <laughs> feel the wind anymore, which is good. Um, yeah. Got myself a hottie. So, cozy, warm. So in the mad rush, we managed to get some mulled wine. And, it's more like, some mulled wine and also a roast. Some kind of a roast with tomato sauce. Cause Tegan just loves tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Tomato I love sauce. It. Crazy as weather system rolled in last night. So we're probably going to move on from this place, unfortunately, which is a really cool spot. It would be really nice in summer, but. We were gutted to be leaving such a wicked spot, but unfortunately the weather wasn't in our favour, so we decided to set out for Jeunesse. So that's our camper spot for the night. Wicked, huh? So we can just watch that roll in. I could probably sit here all day and watch it, to be honest. But, you know, we've got to eat. We have to eat, so... Yeah. Uh, we're having a bit of a mare with our roof fence uh, lately. Right now we've got a bit of a leak in our front roof vent, um, which we thought we fixed, but... Well, we still need to replace it, because it's still got duct tape on it. Yeah, the same one that blew off when we were in Slovenia. I agree. Gone around to it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's leaking at the moment. Which is a tad annoying. It's just coming. I need one of those like, little side cameras. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you think is the problem? I think water's getting in here and just pulling and dripping through there, but... I don't know, I would have to take it off. Let's figure out where. So it's coming in right in this corner, you can see there's like a tiny little wet patch. Um, the hands are, but, um, that's where it's leaking through. <sighs> Dripping onto us, onto the bed. Pretty fucking annoying. Um, yeah, so we were hoping to fix these when we stopped for a bit. Huh. What? It's <laughs> a good little view. <laughs> yeah. Is it still raining? Anyway, so that's that vent, um, and then if we go down here, we uh, we got hit by a lot of wind last night at that camp spot, which we were sad to leave, but didn't want everything to, to go a well. So we were getting hit by this wind and this hail, which was almost horizontal because it was just hitting us so fast that we were nervous that our uh, bathroom vent was going to fly off. Um, so Dylan did a little bit of handiwork, not duct tape this time, but uh, you'll see. So this is our roof vent in our bathroom, which was already broken. That was fixed with cable ties here and here. 
Um, but then a couple of days ago this mesh broke and we had to pin it down last night with these stretchy cords. <sighs> so that's, that's life at the moment. I'll show you. So yeah, today we're just six, 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 successfully <laughs> uh, found a cool camp spot, tried to fix a leak. Uh, well, we're not really in the best place to take it off, are we? Yeah, and I made cookies, so bit of a mess. Really tastes good and Dylan ate too many. No true oh Okay, let's eat now. Hey guys, um, so the sun is finally out, uh, which feels like it's been forever. Um, so we're going to make the most of it and we're going for a walk to Smoo Cave. Yep. Which sounds like it should be something from Lord of the Rings or something. Um, it's about a 25 minute walk. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, should be good, just over the hill, might have a walk on the beach later as well. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, it's still windy and cold outside, so we're all wrapped up, but, um, oh, so nice that the sun's finally out. <laughs> We got some uh, sidrays for tonight. Ugh, almost fallen over. We got me a cream egg. Stoked. Also, Tegan and I just found out that we missed the northern lights last night. Yeah. Um, it's apparently the northern lights are out the front and the neighbours saw it, but uh, yeah, we weren't really thinking. But I guess we're at the top now, so there's a possibility of it happening again while we're up here. Yeah, hopefully. It's clearish today. Looks like some rain soon. It's so sunny. I kind of feel like this is the first bit of activity we've done in a really long time. Because <laughs> it's been raining quite often. So we've been confined to the van. We've been getting cabin fever a little bit. Smoo Cave boasts one of the largest sea cave entrances in Britain at 50 feet high, with its own floodlit inside. Originally, the shape was formed by the water rushing through the rear chamber and natural erosion from the sea. The history of the cave is full of stories, such as being the gateway to the netherworld, tales of whiskey smuggling and also being the home to a ghost of the lost man that forms underneath the bottom of the waterfall. It's easy to see where these stories came from after having a look around themselves. What's up guys? Whoop. Jesus. Make sure you bring your raincoat to come, guys. 
because it's nuts. Oh, it's insane. I'm not sure the camera's doing this justice. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because. system is enormous. Fighting um, shortcuts. I'd like to watch a little run. I just did on the shit. <laughs> <laughs> we spent all this hard work and money creating this nice pathway, and we take the bloody cattle. Rebecca. Meh. So yeah, Smoo Cave, definitely worth a visit, I'd say. Um, waterfall in there is wicked as well. Well, I'm still pretty gutted that we're missing all the lights. <laughs> but hopefully, we're still up here for quite some time, so hopefully we get to see them eventually. Cool. Hey guys, um, we're heading out now. We're unsure where our destination is today, but that's not unusual for us. The top of this came off and it got stuck in the um, cigarette lighter and it uh, sparked quite a bit. Um, and so we managed to get the pieces out of there, but now it doesn't seem to be working and it's one of our main charging points while we drive. you're still enjoying our videos and um, if you are give us a thumbs up and if you want to see the next episode it's already out on our patron which is going to be linked around here somewhere so head over there and give it a give it a view give it a like yeah just i mean just give it a click have a look um basically we've got some bum stickers and air fresheners out as well um which are pretty sick but yeah go check it out cool see you guys <laughs>